Welcome back, me shipmates. I'm just doing a quick update video to show you what the gaming den looks like in the daytime. I've actually got a bit of natural light by me today. It's the first time for everything, I suppose, but I'll just show you what the room looks like in the day. If I turn this around, as you can see, it's daylight outside, and look how dark this room is. I can see in the image now how dark it is. As you can see, this is it's perfect for preserving your games. No sunlight's ever getting onto these games, trust me. But I'll turn on the light in a minute and just go through a few things that are going to change. But let's turn that light on. I've actually got a fan on when you've got loads of equipment on. The room gets pretty hot in here. But I'll just show you. I think this thing's going to move around. I'm going to do a new game room tour. Next month, I'm getting the main lighting in this room changed on the ceiling. So we're going to have bright white light, not this yellow glow, so you'll be able to see things properly. And in that video of my room tour, there will be a lot of Christmas decorations, because I do do this room up at Christmas. But as I said, things are going to change, and this is one of them. This is what I call the Xbox section here. It hasn't got its sign yet, but that's in the post and this Sega section is going to move so anything in the future to expand on Xbox will go there on that top shelf and the Sega section will move onto this wall space here which is just above this chest of drawers as you can see got them on guard here <laughs> but basically the Sega consoles are going to go here to go with the rest of the Sega stuff. As I said, it's in the corner down here as well. As I said, there's a lot of things I can do to this room. Because we PlayStation, I'm not happy with that sign to tell you the truth. It's pretty small. I think it will do for now, I suppose. But there's a big long shelf that goes all the way along here. And I haven't used any of it yet. Um, then put the posters like that one on the wall there. I've actually bought the frames already, just got to put them in. There's one for the big one there, and for the smaller ones, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's how dark the room is. The smaller ones down there, and basically, this open space, there'll be nothing here, and I'm going to put another bookcase here, so that'll be able to fill a load more. It'll probably part of the Sega section, I could imagine. And then, I've got to do something about this shelf eventually and these games because I want them to all go into towers and for the boxed Nintendo games to carry on all the way along here and carry away all along here. So once I've got that shelf at the top there free, I will be able to move that back up there and that space I can put some towers to fill them DVD style cases Nintendo games on. I um, hope you're going to enjoy the football tonight, England versus Albania, no fans in the stadium but I hope everyone will be getting on the beers, I'm sure big game out, Granaldino plays, I know they like football, I'm sure they'll be on it for the England game but it was, it was all like this video was for it's a quick update of what's going to be happening here in the game room just watching a bit of GB news about the only news channel I can tolerate to tell you the truth just on being on YouTube there on the PC but anyway I hope you enjoyed this quick little walkthrough of what I'm going to do to my game room and I hope you join me next time thank you